In this video we are going to discuss Diophantine equations. That's equations where we only seek integer solutions. Uh, this is the type of equations we'll study. Uh, it's a linear equation, a, b and c are given integers, x and y are integers to be determined. And we'll look at two questions. Question one, when does a solution exist? And two, if a solution exists, what are all of the solutions? To answer the first question, uh, let d be the greatest common divisor of a and b. Well then, both a and b are divisible by, by d, so a can be written as d times m, and b can be written as uh, d times n for integers m and n. So we see that d is a factor on the left side, so if there are integers x and y solving the equation, then we have an integer on the left hand side divisible by d, so c has to be divisible by d as well. If c is not divisible uh, by the greatest common divisor of a and b, then this cannot be true for any integers x and y. So we see that a requirement is that uh, the greatest common divisor of a and b has to divide c. Now let's look at the equation in the case where we have solutions. That means c is divisible by the greatest common divisor of a and b, so c is the greatest common divisor times an integer k. We know that the greatest common divisor, after employing uh, the extended Euclidean algorithm, uh, we can find x and y, let me call them x1, y1, uh, so that ax1 plus by1 equals d. We know that the greatest common divisor can be written as a linear combination of a and b, so we just use x1 and y1 for the required uh, coefficients. Okay, so I want a solution to this equation, and if I scale this equation by k, I get a x1 k plus b y1 k equals d k, which is c. So we have a solution x equals x1 times k, y equals y1 times k. So this shows how we can find one solution to uh, the Diophantine equation we started out with. We simply first use the extended Euclidean algorithm to solve this equation, finding x1 and y1, and then we scale up by the required k to find a particular solution of the original equation. Now to answer the second question, suppose x0, y0 is uh, a particular solution to our original equation. It can be found by the technique I just showed you. Uh, let x, y be any other solution to the equation. And let's see uh, what uh, is required of x and y. So I'll subtract the equations from each other. That gives me a times x0 minus x plus b times y0 minus y equals 0. And then I'll move one of the terms to the other side, switching the sign inside the parentheses. So I get a times x0 minus x equals b times y minus y0. These two parentheses are equal, except for the opposite signs. Now, I'll divide through by the greatest common divisor of a and b, which I have called d throughout the video. So, a divided by d times x0 minus x equals b divided by d times y minus y0. At this point, I'm going to employ two of the results of the previous uh, video, number theory 6, on coprimality. So, we know that these two numbers 
are co-prime. This fraction and this fraction are co-prime. Because we have divided through by the greatest common divisor and that leaves two co-prime numbers. Also, this number, this fraction, divides this product. And since these two factors are co-prime, I know from another result of the video number theory 6, that this number has to divide the other factor. So I can conclude that y minus y0 is some integer t times a divided by d. So that means that y is of the form y0 plus t times a divided by d. Okay. So using the expression I found for y, I can replace y by y0 plus t times a divided by d, and that gives me a times x0 minus x equals b times, and then I have this y replaced by y0 plus t a divided by d. And that means that y0 is going to cancel. So I'm left with b times t times a divided by d. And now I see that a cancels. I can shorten, divide on both sides by a. And then solve for x. I'll put x on this side, this term on the other side, and read from uh, right to left. That leaves x equals to x0 minus uh, t times b divided by d. So that's a consequence. If, we, if you have one solution to this problem, then every other solution has to look like this, y equals y0 plus t times a divided by d, and x has to be on this form. So there are no other solutions, solutions at least. However, we don't know that all of these uh, x, y will actually solve the equation. Uh, we only know that there are no other numbers solving the equation. So we have to check by uh, substitution. We substitute these two expressions for x and see if, if we get c in the end. So let's do that. So if I substitute for x, I get ax0 minus a t b by d plus and then I have b times this expression so it's b y0 plus b times t times a by d and as you can see these opposite signs imply that these two will cancel so these cancel out, and I'm left with ax0 plus by0, and that sum equals c. So this shows that x and y given by this expression solves the equation for any value of t. So t can be an arbitrary integer, and we have a solution. So that's all of the solutions of the Diophantine equation.